This is part of the power line climb. We've been up over Sugarloaf Pass and this thing just seems like it goes on forever. A lot of good downhill running, but also some pretty steep climbs, but not terribly technical at this point. Making our way down power line at the inaugural Slut Puppy 50. <laughs> We're doing it. We're heading towards Twin Lakes. We've got a few miles left till we get there. And we've had uh, some really cold, relatively heavy rain, lightning thunder, which has inspired some, some entrepreneurial spirit in Ben. He's come up with, your new product is? Um, I forgot already. Viper Dome. Uh, Viper Dome, yeah. Viper Dome. Rubber, it's gonna be a purple rubber helmet with a Viking V on the front. Um, and it's just gonna keep my noggin safe from any direct hits that may happen during the race, so. And the uh, manufacturer's suggested retail pricing on this? You know, we're gonna try to keep it affordable so that we can cover a wide demographic, probably in the $59.99 range. And what do you have on the GPS on yours? 38 miles, so we are long, which means we got lost maybe even more than normal. Just left Twin Lakes in Tammy. It was good to see her because not only is she pretty, but she has food and Gatorade. Now we're heading over to the river crossing and then up, way up. All right, ready for the water crossing, Ben? I don't know, man. Oh, oh, oh that's, yeah, it's cold. Mark and Jerry lately. We're heading up to Hope Pass. It's raining. It's getting cold. I bet you it's low 40s. Really? Uh, yeah, mid 40s maybe. It's cooling down. We're getting there. It's not pretty, but we're getting there, aren't we? Ooh, that was not nice. Remind me not to show TV that one.